All right, the markets await the start of second quarter earnings season. Let's talk about it now with John Manley, Chief Equity Strategist at Wells Fargo Funds. John, good to see you back here. Great to be here. Thanks. All right, so second quarter earnings are expected to grow 6.5% year over year. Do you think we'll actually exceed that forecast? We usually do. I think they, the corporations like to keep it modest and hope they can beat it. I still see no reason why they shouldn't. I think it's still a good environment for earnings. I think they're still going up. But still, this is the catalyst that we need to move us uh, to the next level of the markets and breach some key levels in the S&P 500. It's all about earnings. Uh, the Fed's mm -hmm. going to be accommodated, but only mildly so. The valuations aren't cheap anymore. They're kind of expensive. It's going to be driven by earnings or it's not going to be driven at all. And lately in the markets, we've been seeing a rotation out of tech stocks and into financials. Yeah. Uh, do you expect that trend to continue in the second half? I kind of like them both, but i got to say I like financials more. I think there's more on the come. Uh, the, the, as rates go up, the short rates go up, it gives the financial corporations a little more wiggle room to price things as they should be priced. That helps. Uh, tech is expensive. There's no question about it. I think there's still good stories, but I'd like to buy them at better prices. In terms of financials, is it mostly just a yield curve play, or does policy deregulation, does that play into it a little bit as well? Well, remember, I work for a bank, so I, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm a little bit prejudiced. I think, I think it's a little bit of both. I think the, the better yield curve, a better economy helps. Uh, you'll probably have lower loss ratios, and I think a, a, a less adversarial uh, regulatory environment will probably help as well. And is there anything specific you'll be watching for in the big bank earnings that we will get at the end of this week? That they're clean and that they're better. That's what I'm looking for. Hmm. And the C card didn't do that for you? <laughs> uh, no, unfortunately. Uh, in terms of other sectors you're looking at for the second half, in terms of opportunities? Right. I like healthcare. Hmm. I, I still think healthcare is a great collision of new products and old people. Uh, and as more people like me move into their 60s and 70s, they're going to need more help and the corporations can provide it. Now, how does it get paid for? I think one of the reasons the Republicans and the Democrats are having so much, so many problems with trying to get health care legislation is somebody's got to pay because it can't go unpaid. And I think it's going to be for my generation now what education was for my generation 30 years ago, a government push of money into that system one way or the other. But now we're seeing some senators and many analysts saying that the current version of the health care bill is dead. Uh, that's obviously, what, what does that mean for health care stocks? That, that means we'll find another thing. We'll, we'll yeah. find some other way of doing it. As instead, I mean, the demand for health care is there. People want to we'll pay for it. Stay, staying alive is very high on most people's list of things to do. Right. So they'll pay Good for it point. themselves. And I think what happens is America is basically funding the rest of the world for R&D as far as health care is mm -hmm. concerned. I think we keep doing that. I think the government probably steps up a little bit, but timing that is, is all but impossible. All right. John Manley from Wells Fargo Funds, thanks Thank for coming back with us.